Greetings programs! Neo Mega Man back again. It's time for episode 89 of Neo's Mugen Saturday Showdown. Yeah, buddy. Oh boy, we're back for another regular episode this week. And yeah, we're starting off with a pretty big episode here. Or a pretty big fight here, I mean. First fight for the episode. We've got a Bobo. Big bad a Bobo. Basically the heavyweight champion of the world right now. Going to be taking on Mr. Big. And Mr. Big, he's looked okay in his past couple performances, but just okay. I guess we'll see in just a moment on a random stage whether or not he's got the uh, the gumption to take on Big Bad of Bobo or not. Alright, let's kick this episode off with a bang. A Bobo ready? Mr. Big ready? Let's do this. Alright, Bobo immediately starts with a couple of punches right to a jump kick. Ooh, Mr. Big jumping around trying to play some shenanigans here. Bobo misses a sweep kick there. Ooh, Mr. Big trying to get some stick combos through. Bobo misses a couple of jump kicks. Mr. Big techs out of a throw. Mr. Big again trying to get those sticks through. Oh, a couple of big punches there from Bobo. Oh, big stick combo coming in there. Bobo gets some damage put on in there. Oh, 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 big stick shock super special after a ground, uh, ground wave there. Again, Mr. Big's trying to use those sticks range to his advantage. A Bobo, oh, oh, getting sticked a little bit there. A Bobo kind of in health trouble here. Oh, evening up the health totals there, though. Oh, good shots from Mr. Big. Oh, big jump kick right to a double hit, or right to a double punch with a double axe handle. Holy cow. Another big double axe handle. Oh, Mr. Big, oh, shocks a Bobo again with those big sticks. Oh, another big double axe handle. Mr. Big in trouble. A Bobo not doing too happy on the health side of things either, though. Oh, big sweep kick take Mr. Big down. Wow, Mr. Big pushed a Bobo really well. Let's see if Mr. Big can do something better in round number two here. Alright, Mr. Big on the offensive immediately. Gets a couple of big stick shots in there. A Bobo jumping in. Oh, gets thrown for his trouble. But Mr. Big uh, tried to double up his sticks there and missed the, uh, sh missed the shot, though. Double punch from a Bobo. Oh, big shocker there from Mr. Big. Mr. Big coming in hot. Oh, oh, wow. Mr. Big on the offensive. Another big shock special there. Mr. Big really pushing it hard here. A Bobo in severe trouble. Oof. M Mr. Big gets pushed back by a couple of sweet kicks and uh, misses a ground wave there. A Bobo tossing that barrel. Oh, big giant swing. Can Mr. Big land the cherry tap? Oh, man, a Bobo barely has any health left. Oh, oh, big triple power bomb. Right to a big double knee. Oh, no, the big Earthquaker. A Bobo steals round number two with the Earthquaker and barely escapes with another 2-0. Mr. Big damn near pulled it off in round number two, but no, a Bobo slams the door and says, no, thank you. Phew! Well, that was a close one to start with, wasn't it, folks? Mr. Big surprisingly effective against a Bobo, but uh, unfortunately just didn't quite have the life to outlast him. Man, Mr. Big, if only he could have landed that cherry tap in round two, but nope. A Bobo deciding he didn't want to play King of the Round Threes with Mr. Big because Mr. Big was apparently playing for keeps. Okay. Well, uh, that's all for match number one. Uh, stay tuned, we've got another big singles match, two big doubles matches, and our new next uh, 4v4 tournament match coming your way. Lots of action today, so don't go away folks, I'll be right back with our second singles match. And we're back folks with our second big singles match of the evening for episode 89, and this one promises to be kind of interesting. Possessed Hata is back, yay! <clears throat> I love watching this guy, it's so much fun. And... Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. He'll be taking on Adamus from Shades of Manhattan. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, this promises to be a fairly interesting match. So, yeah, hell with it. Let's just do it. Down to a random stage we go. Alright, Ata ready? Adamus ready? Here we go. Oof. A couple of projectile shots there from Adamus, but uh, but hate to punch him through. Oh, big sweep kick there from Adamus. Big uppercut. 
Hate to not quite sure what to make of Adamas so far, I guess. Oh, big diving kick there. Another big kick combo right to a fireball. Oh, big Hata kick. Misses the uh, driving punch, though. Oh, good combo there from Hata right to another Hata kick. Right to a rising dragon uppercut. Uh, oh, big blizzard special there from uh, from Adamus misses. Good aerial combo there from Hata. Another big Hata kick. Bouncing Adamus off the wall. Hata got a big advantage in the life total so far. Adamus, oh, trying to come back. Oh, oh, gets a good special through there. Oh, manages to block Hata's diving kick there. Blocks the Hata kick. Hata back down to the, uh, back down to size in terms of the life totals. Oh, oh, Adamus getting comboed. Oh, Rising Dragon for the win. Ouch. Well, Adamus did pretty well against Possessed Hata, but unfortunately he didn't have the, the gumption to pull through. Let's see if he can do it in round number two. Well, he uh, got the uh, combo started. Oh, big aerial bounce combo there from Hata. Big Rising Dragon to finish it. Big Rising Ice special there. Oh, Hata again using his speed advantage over Adamus, trying to push him back in the corner. Misses the driving punch. Oh, Adamus lands a big melee combo, doing some pretty good uh, pretty good damage against Hata. Hata bouncing Adamus around. Adamus lands a big sweep kick there. Oh, Hata with another big combo coming in. Oh, big driving punch right to a Rising Dragon. Wow, double Rising Dragon right to a Hata kick. Misses the driving punch, though. Adamus trying to push Hata back in the corner, but Hata saying no thank you. He wants out. Oh, 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 Adamus lands the big melee combo again. Again, Hata comboing freely, though. Oh, Hata kick for the win. Ouch. Well, unfortunately, ah, uh, that was close. I almost got busted in front of my audience. Well. Ha <laughs> ha. Sonny, I did it. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, Adamus <clears throat> put on a hell of a show there. He was uh, fighting his heart out, but unfortunately, Hata's speed and comboing advantage kind of was too much to overcome. So, good job, Adamus, but unfortunately, you drop one here 2 0. <clears throat> anyway, let's get on to our uh, doubles matches for the day. And yeah, they promise to be pretty good, so don't go away, folks. Doubles is on the way. All right, we're back with doubles number one for the day, folks. And what the hell are Iron Fist and Steel Serpent doing outside of high velocity? Well, they've still got one more contracted appearance this season in regular show. And unfortunately for them, <laughs> they drew Hanzo and Fuma. Oh, boy. Hanzo and Fuma have been on a massive tear recently. And I don't know if anybody's going to be able to stop them. Iron Fist and Steel Serpent may be pretty good martial artists, but Hanzo and Fuma are experts at what they do. So, let's get down to a random stage and watch these four tear it up. Hanzo and Fuma ready? Iron Fist, Steel Serpent ready? Here we go. Iron Fist tries to get things started with a couple of uh, kicks there. Hanzo trying to space things out with the uh, big blue shurikens there. Oh, Hanzo getting a good combo there on Steel Serpent. Steel Serpent gets an elbow through. Oh, oh, wow. Good combo team, or good team combo there from uh, from Iron Fist and Steel Serpent. Fuma trying to get something through there. Oh, big, uh, oh, big rapid combo there from Hanzo on uh, Steel Serpent. They're trying to isolate Iron Fist now. Probably not a bad idea. Oh, another big laser shuriken combo on uh, sh on Steel Serpent from Hanzo. Iron Fist definitely not doing too happy on the hell side of things. There he goes with a flame shuriken. Oh, big super uppercut right to a flying knee attack. Uh-oh, now they're pinning. Uh, they were trying to pin Steel Serpent between their attacks. I don't think Steel Serpent's got the gas to take on both Hanzo and Fuma by himself. Uh, oh, man, Hanzo missed a big diving super special, but... Steel Serpent gets chipped to death in the corner. Well, Hanzo and Fuma got pushed pretty hard by Iron Fist and Steel Serpent. Let's see what uh, round number two holds. All right, Iron Fist and Steel Serpent trying to get uh, some offense going here, but Hanzo and Fuma saying no thank you. Oh, they got Iron Fist pinned between their attacks. Not a good place to be. Oh, big uh, flaming explosion there. Takes some big damage off Iron Fist there. Oh, super sure, super sure you can there, plus a big flipping kick special. Unfortunately, Iron Fist now taking a beating from Fuma. Uh, big knee special there. 
Iron Fist, oh, coming in with a big rapid martial arts kick combo. Doing some pretty good damage to Hanzo. Uh-oh, Fuma coming in with a big flame dive. There goes Iron Fist with a combo from uh, Hanzo. Steel Serpent, the only one left alive. Oh, gracious. Again, trying to get some damage in with that big super uppercut combo, but unfortunately, I don't think he's got enough gas to take both Hanzo and Fuma out by himself. Oh, big shurikens right to a big melee dash combo. And down goes Iron Fist and Steel Serpent in round number two. Phew! Well, that was quick. You can never expect a long match between these speedy martial artists, folks. But you gotta admit, Iron Fist and Steel Serpent, for being high-velocity contenders, put up a pretty good fight against Hanzo and Fuma. But, unfortunately, just wasn't enough. Oakley Doakley. We've got uh, one more big doubles match coming your way before the big 4v4 main event. So, don't go away, folks. I'll be right back with that. And we are back with our big 2v2 doubles, whatever you want to call it, second match for the evening. Basically the main event, because the tournament match is taking the place of the 4v4 main event. But, uh, yeah, this promises to be very interesting, folks. Piccolo and Nail are back. The Namekians. Going to be taking on the Boxers, Franco and Dudley. Um, There's a lot to be said about this one, folks. Piccolo and Nail might have the big advantage in terms of range with their projectiles and energy attack spam and all that good stuff. Plus, I think Piccolo and Nail might have a speed advantage as well. But Franco Bash and Dudley can hit like a truck when they want to. And if Piccolo and Nail aren't careful, they're going to get countered every step of the way and punched in the face a whole bunch. Well, enough of, <clears throat> enough of my rambling here. Let's get down to a random stage and watch these four throw down. All right, here we go. Uh, Franco, you ready yet there, buddy? All right, here we go. All right, immediately Piccolo gets started with a big uh, purple laser kick. Wow, Nail gets a big uh, melee combo through a Franco bash. Franco trying to pin uh, Nail in the corner there. Probably not going to work too bit too well. Wow, a couple of big time laser uh, or big uh, quick fireball specials from Piccolo. Piccolo and Nail pinning him in the corner. Franco trying to fight out with a big uh, dashing attack. Piccolo, oh, Piccolo charging up a little bit, trying to get some damage through. Uh oh, they have him pinned between their attacks. Oh, Christmas Hellzone grenade coming through. Good gravy, Franco Bash and Dudley getting their butts kicked. There goes Franco and Dudley down by a kick from Nail. Holy crap, Ola. Jeez, man. Franco Bash and Dudley barely stood a chance. Let's see if they can do something better in round number two here. Again, Piccolo coming in with those big laser kicks. Uh-oh, Hellzone Grenade coming in on... Oh, no, never mind. Dudley interrupts the, the Hellzone Grenade with a big punch combo right to a drill blow. Not a bad place to... Or not a good place to be for Piccolo. Oh, big arm stretch. Uh-oh, Hellzone Grenade coming in on both Franco Bash and Dudley here. Oh, that hurts a bunch. Piccolo, oh, gets uh, comboed again. Oh, they have him pinned between their attacks. If they could keep him there, Dudley and Franco might have a good... A good Uh-oh. Uh oh, no. Piccolo landed the... Uh, the special beam cannon. There it goes. Tearing Dudley and Franco apart. Nail not in too good a health shape, though. Uh-oh. Nail goes down hard. But unfortunately, the special beam cannon coming in again. Oh, man. Dudley and Franco barely survived. Oh, wow, but they survived long enough to put Piccolo down. Holy cow. Gutter trash. Wow, Dudley and Franco barely survive in round number two. We're going to an unexpected round three here, folks. Piccolo again coming in with those laser kicks to start with. Uh, Dale charging the power meter. Again, oh, Piccolo misses the, uh, the Raging Demon attack. Piccolo coming in with a big rapid special. Nail gets some low sweep kicks through. Dudley and Franco getting pinned in the corner. They got to fight out of there quick if they want to survive this. Piccolo again with a big rapid aerial combo teleporting around. Piccolo and Nail not fucking around right now. 
Big Super Namekian stomp there, and Dudley and Franco take a shitload of damage. Oh, big lightning eyes. Dudley getting torn apart there. There goes Dudley. Franco the only one left. Franco trying to block for all he's worth, but unfortunately I don't think he's got enough gas to take out both Piccolo and Nail. Big rapid fireballs. Oh, plus the Nail gun, and down goes Franco. Wow. Piccolo and Nail tore ass in round number three. I guess they weren't happy about being narrowly edged out in round number two because they destroyed Dudley and Franco in round number three. Holy cow. Whew. That one took a bit out of me, folks. That was a good one. Okay. Well, that's two singles and two doubles. So, yeah, all that's left is our big 4v4 tournament match. And uh, this one's going to prove to be interesting. Oh, man. I'm so sad for Dudley and Franco because they looked like they had maybe a little bit of momentum going into round three, but then they got pinned in the corner and just completely decimated. I don't know. Okay. Enough futzing around on my end. Let's get to our 4v4 tournament match and finish this episode in high style. And welcome back to the big time 4v4 tournament match of episode 89. Oh boy, oh boy. What a fight we've got going down here. In contrast, perhaps, to the last three fights, this one has no clear advantage on it. I mean, Blizzard, Diablo, Talon, and Vertigo might have two Hall of Famers on their side, but you can never underestimate Chris, Leon, Jill, and Claire Redfield. Because their guns and special spam is pretty well powerful enough to keep them in, you know, keep them in line with basically anybody in 4v4. Well, a match of this caliber could only go down on the SmackDown Arena stage, so let's get down to ringside and light this candle. Alright, Primal Rage ready, Resident Evil ready, let's go! Alright, immediately Resident Evil's on the attack, Jill coming in with a big hot combo, Leon following up. Uh, hard to see what's going on as Primal Rage keeps bouncing. Uh, da -da -da -da. Mistress Vertigo trying to get out of that corner, holy cow! Primal Rage getting absolutely decimated in the corner here. Blizzard trying to get some uh, damage going, looks like he got some damage going through on, uh, on Leon. I can't see. Oof! Looks like somebody it looks like Claire pulled out the bazooka. Diablo Steam trying to get things going for his team. Oh, unfortunately, down goes Diablo. Oh, no way, he's still alive. Blizzard, Diablo, Talon, and Vertigo really trying hard to pull it back in in the, their control here. Diablo going down hard. There goes Blizzard. Looks like Talon, the survivor, and Mistress Vertigo are the only ones left. Uh, they're fighting hard though. Jill is down. Oh, oh, big uh, crossbow special there from Claire. Big uh, raging tear into there from uh, from Talon. Vertigo and Talon still fighting hard. Hard to see who's still up for uh, Team Primal, or not Team Primal Rage. Looks like Leon went down for Team uh, Risen and Evil. Uh, and what the hell's uh, Chris doing there? Chris unfortunately goes down. Oh, and Claire taken down under uh, hypnosis by uh, t uh, Mistress Vertigo. Blech. Boy, I, my tongue got tangled. Oh, cheap knife edge tail shot right to the acid spit. And Team Resident Evil's on the attack again. Oh, big uh, shovel shell combo there. Leon trying to combo out of the into the corner there. Hard to see what's going on as the uh, bodies are flying everywhere. Chris trying to get some, uh, some damage through there. Leon getting torn apart. Holy crap. Leon trying to get some damage through there. Uh, looks like Chris maybe got stuck a little bit there. Uh, what the hell's going on here? Looks like Claire Redfield might already be down. Jill not doing too well. Leon has some pretty low health here. Uh, looks like Leon is down. Chris fighting hard. Uh, Jill kind of frozen in midair there. Again frozen in midair. She's fighting hard though. Her and Chris fighting like hell to try to... Oh, never mind. Wow. And Blizzard freezes everything in the in the area. Uh, I'm not even gonna try to read that one there, Blizzard. 
Whew. Boy, that one was hard to keep up with, folks. Bodies flying everywhere, combos going off left and right. Specials being started and interrupted and thrown all about the ring. And in the middle of it all, Team Primal Rage stands victorious. And they're moving on to the, to the quarterfinal round. Oh, boy. I, uh... Yeah, I got nothing, folks. That was friggin' insane. So anyway, enough of that nonsense. Uh, drop me a comment down in the comment section below. You know, I love it. I'll answer every comment again if I can. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you tomorrow for High Velocity. There will be a slight change in the format for High Velocity for the rest of the season because, well, we're getting down to the nitty-gritty. And, uh... For the rest of the season, there will only be one uh, high-velocity match per week. Because if I did two, the tournament wouldn't end, and, or the tournament would end pretty soon. And I want the tournament to drag out to the end of the season. <laughs> okay. Enough out of me. For episode 89 of Neo's Mugen Saturday Showdown, I'm your host, Neo Mega Man, signing off. Whew. End of line.